Hello my fellow X-Fighters, so come back with the next lesson number two. What I'm going to do is basically show you the entire technique that I wish to dedicate this lesson and video to right away up front and then I'm going to get back to the camera and we are going to talk about uh, how, why, when and especially what for. So check it out. One more try, shall we? So I bet you weren't expecting a knife in the next video. Get used to that because in real life you will not always know what type of weapon your opponent has and where especially it is hidden on them. Furthermore, you yourself should carry at least two weapons or more whenever you venture out into the wilderness where there is no immediate protection of our modern civilization. And the last mini point that I wish to make is that you should learn how to use these tools in congruency and in support of one another so they don't impede your ability to fight or to achieve some sort of a goal but rather complement one another so that is the introductory lesson that i wish to make and now let's get into the main points so i'm putting the knife away taking axe in my hands and let's talk about axe fighting and specifically what i dedicate this lesson to is axe throwing now the unique aspect of fighting with an axe is in its strikes it's in the way you strike with an axe so you can do basically a strike from the top down you can do one from the bottom up you can do one from side to side or you can do them from any type of angle you wish but to accomplish a serious strike with an axe you need basically two things you need amplitude and you need speed and if you have that your strike will be successful but here is the most important thing exactly the same motion that is necessary to do a standard strike with an axe that everybody can predict exactly the same motion is required to turn this very heavy and sharp tool into a ballistic missile and here's what i mean so here's the standard strike with an axe that is the motion that is necessary to do it and here's what you need to throw this axe exactly the same motion now allow me to grab that axe and we will continue this conversation i'm back now if you fully understood what i've said and what i've shown you then you are realizing how dangerous and effective this tool really is literally any strike that you can do can be just a strike or it can be turned into again a ballistic missile meaning you can throw this axe at very high speed and your opponents do not know in any way what the outcome of any type of move that you do with an axe will be that is a massive advantage you can literally do and i don't recommend it i don't like this pose but you can do like the samurai stand pose completely i don't like it because you completely expose your vital organs but you can do this samurai stand pose allowing you to put two hands on this axe allowing you to put your back into it and your opponent may be thinking that you are simply just putting this pose to defend yourself or even to attack them without releasing this axe from your hands but in reality what you can do is just lift this axe up and throw it at high speed at your opponent now with two hands and full with full force this again is a game changer that will allow you to come out victorious against just about any enemy regardless of what type of weapon they have other than of course a gun or if they have a crossbow or a bow at a very high distance i mean in close quarter combat and close combat and close proximity axe is an extremely useful tool that allow you to be victorious now allow me to grab my axe once again okay now that 
I've got my axe. Let me show you how all of this works together. I'm gonna go practice on that tree and then I'm gonna get back to the camera and explain exactly step by step how I throw this axe. So check that out. So the first aspect of this technique is learning how to throw an axe like this. Now you can learn how to throw just about any axe, even the one that is not intended for throwing at all, like this one. So this axe has a long handle and a heavy head, heavy steel head, and whenever you throw it in a regular way as people imagine it, basically holding it like this somewhere at the bottom or in the middle then what happens is simply it will spin along or around its metal head and most likely either will hit with its dull end or with its handle and that's what happens when most people throw an axe that is not intended for throwing so the way you make it stick like this is simply by holding it right here up high by its neck like you want to choke it <laughs> but if you hold it up here, if you hold any X right here, and when you throw it, it does not have enough time to spin, and you're literally throwing its heaviest part like a spear first. And it sticks every time. I can literally stand here all day, and by the way, the distance between that tree and me is quite decent. It's about three meters right here. And nevertheless, the X goes in perfectly. So that is uh, the first technique for you to master. Very easy to do. Just give it time and practice. The second aspect of the entire combat technique that I showed you already on numerous occasions, especially at the start of this video, is basically putting it all together. How is it done? So in the first lesson, in my previous video, that first lesson, how to fight with an axe, I showed you a technique, how to minimize your exposure after each strike. So whenever you strike with an axe, your, uh, the inertia takes you in the direction where you were striking, your body is exposed, and I showed you how to very quickly counter it by switching hands, grabbing the axe by the middle, ca countering it, coming back up with it, and allowing your hand to slide from the middle to all the way to the bottom of the axe as you counter strike obviously now you realize that i've added basically a second switch of the hand and at this time i throw this axe now the aspect that i wish to share with you and if you want to by the way master that previous technique watch that video where i explain everything in detail so here in this video i'm kind of picking up from everything that you should have already learned but to throw this axe in combination with this technique, you basically are working with your hands all the way up to the top. So you start holding the axe at the bottom and you do the first strike. Either you are missing or making sure the opponent stays away or you're defending against an opponent's strike or against a weapon with which opponent is striking you. So you're moving that weapon away then you're countering you're grabbing now the axe by the middle and you're countering it allowing it to slide but nevertheless you're grabbing it by the middle coming back up with a slide or not on the third motion or on the third round what you're doing now is grabbing that axe at its at its top by its neck and this is when you are throwing the axe so this is how it works in a faster kind of scenario. Obviously, I'm not going to throw my axe at the camera. It's too expensive. But uh, this is how it works. So in a slower version, this is how it looks. You're basically holding the handle of the axe by its bottom. And you do your first strike. You grab the handle of the axe with the other hand by the middle. Counter strike while allowing it to slide. 
grab it at the top by its neck and then you throw. Again, let's speed up. So strike, counter strike, throw. Again, speeding up, strike, counter strike, throw. So this is what this technique looks like. And now one little aspect that I wish to mention. Whenever this axe falls on the ground in the snow, as, a, as you can see there's plenty of it around me, the handle becomes wet and it becomes difficult to slide my hand along its handle, especially on this counter strike. If that happens to you, for whatever reason, maybe it's just the type of a handle on your axe, but I recommend you to abandon the slide and simply just work by stages. So stage one, stage two, stage three. So you strike, holding the strike, holding the X at the very bottom. You counter strike by holding the X in the middle without sliding. So you're just simply counter striking like this. Then you're grabbing it at stage three and then you're throwing it. You're grabbing it by its neck and you're throwing the X. That is what I recommend you to do because if you try to slide an X that has a handle that's uh, not very prone to sliding, and all you will do is just mess up your technique and it will basically endanger you in real combat and in practice it will be just a waste of time. So again, without ability to slide, just at the bottom, at the middle, at the top. That is how you practice and implement this technique all together. Now, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I used a knife. So if you have a second tool such as a knife with you and you wish to incorporate it in your training, then you need to understand which side your knife is and where your hands will end up after the execution of one particular technique or the other. So in the technique that I recommend to you, you do a strike, you do a counter strike, you grab the X by its neck and then you throw it. After the X leaves your hand, the force of the motion pushes your hand towards your, at least towards my knife. And uh, this allows me to very quickly pull it out and now throw this knife or engage the opponent with this knife. But everything is timed, everything is uh, done because it's the most easiest thing for me to do. I don't need to grab it from any other end, I don't need to pull it out in a special way. It's simply the force of the motion after the X leaves my hand allows my hand to literally fall right on top of the handle of my knife so I can just pull it out and engage the opponent. So that is what I recommend for you to incorporate in your training. Think these things through because they will allow you to be much more deadlier and much faster. That is everything that I really wanted to share with you. I've told you all my secrets. Now I'm going to work on that uh, tree incorporate my knife throwing technique my axe throwing technique everything all together and after that we'll conclude this video One more thing, forgot to say that you do not need to do this three strike motion to throw an axe. You can literally be engaging an opponent, grab it by its neck and throw the axe. You can do a strike, realize that you miss, right away grab the axe by its neck and throw the axe. So you can do many things, you do not need to limit yourself to three or you can do miss miss block defend and then throw you can do many things with within the limits of this technique so that is again what i'm going to practice on that tree check it out
well, a little bit more. All right, this is it. Thank you for watching. Practice axe throwing, knife throwing in a very safe way. And stay tuned for more videos. Take care.